what is going on guys so when you pick up this Zoe ZT 703s unit you may want to adjust the calibration on the probe just to get accurate measurements so you're going to do a couple of things you're going to set the probe to 10 times I have the probe hooked up to the tool right now here you're going to make sure that you have your reference waveform pulled up here if you don't see this you can just go to your output settings here and just make sure that this is selected. If it's not selected, if you have something else, you can just scroll through this till you get back to that waveform. Okay, so now we have the correct waveform for the calibration and we have our probe set up. So let's go ahead and get a measurement. Now, what you can do is also hit auto. So if you don't see something that looks like this, you can just hit auto and it'll automatically range it for you. Now you can see I purposely uh, changed the calibration on this probe to be off. So the way we adjust that is there's a tool they give you which is like a tiny little flathead screwdriver and then over here on the probe at the BNC connector there's actually a screw you can turn and you see if I'm turning that now counterclockwise how it's straightening up the waveform. So the idea is you want to see nice, clean, horizontal lines on the top and bottom of this waveform. If I keep going, look, it, it'll compensate too much the other direction, okay? So we can just adjust this back. It's basically a capacitor that we're adjusting, okay? And get that down to you know, as close as you can get it to perfect, and there you go. And now you have your calibration. And if you want, you can even, you know, stop that and take a screenshot. Thanks for checking it out, you guys. Have a great one.